Hey gamers, it's Luxpoo here with Game Gamut, and uh, for those of you keeping up with the channel, you might realize that I've been on a little bit of a hiatus. Uh, I apologize for that inconvenience. Um, the larger inconvenience I'm apologizing for is if you had to listen to that guy last for heek in the last couple of weeks. I'm sorry gamers, uh, I'm back, I'm coming at you with uh, this game I've been playing over the last couple of days. Uh, it's called World of Warships, and <laughs> I gotta admit, I've just kind of been enamorated with this game. Um, first and foremost, it's free. Yep, alright, as you're listening to me, go ahead and download it. It's actually kind of a big download. Um, outside of that, the premise of the game is a, it's a kind of a PvP-based PvP squad game uh, where you commandeer your own, wait for it, warship. Uh, you start off with two different kind of battleships and you just kind of start getting into the swing of things. Uh, some of the cooler features of the game, though, uh, before I kind of get into the more of the gameplay, um, that is really kind of drawing me in is as you play the game and you, you kind of accumulate experience points Your experience is based off the ship you play So it's not like you have a profile rank or a profile level and you kind of you know move your experience points around and whatever You earn in the game towards whatever you want to do now You have to get really good with your ship and keep playing that ship in order to keep upgrading it um, Before I go into kind of the the technology tree. There's a module section of a ship where you can use uh, smaller portions of your uh, experience points that you're accruing for the ship. And kind of upgrading little features, making it a little bit better to play. Um, and then as you kind of keep upgrading that ship, getting in more into the technology tree. As you can see, you kind of have a starter uh, ship. And then as you kind of upgrade it, you can upgrade it to the next battleship. And then it kind of gets more in depth. Uh, you can kind of start branching off using some of the upgrades that you have, start modding your ship out to make it more of a, a destroyer or an aircraft carrier or whatever whatever your uh, preference is for a ship. And they all have distinct uh, features about the ship. They all have their own uh, unique abilities and capabilities in terms of uh, playing and uh, kind of coordinating with the team. Um, I'm not going to really get too much into that. The purpose of the video is kind of just to show you what this game's like and why I'm liking it so much. Um, so kind of getting into the game itself, uh, you start off with approximately seven other or six other ships. And what I really like about just how the game sets up is, at least so far on my experience, I'm playing against bots. I'm not sure if it's just a bot thing. I haven't really gone against uh, human players yet. Uh, is that it links up whatever ship you have um, it's kind of think of it like ships as like tiers so as your ships grow in tier level uh, it matches that uh, they match you on that S and what I mean by that is the game will if I, I got a tier 1 battleship and someone's got a tier 6 destroyer they're gonna put in a tier 1 battleship and a tier 6 destroyer uh, much and just keep matching it that way that way it's a pretty level game uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna keep doing that uh, but anyway, kind of getting bolt more into the, the details of the game here. Um, it's important to have patience in this game because when you are in one massive map, uh, you kind of got to not go head on. You can't go head on. You have to kind of coordinate with the team a little bit to uh, kind of come at objectives. You can't see the players right away, your enemy team anyway. And you kind of have to get a feel for it, uh, do a lot of scouting, and then when it's time to you know start getting that firing range, uh, start start unloading. But you don't want to get caught out. As you can see, there's mountains kind of all over the place. It's easy to kind of go around a mountain and then have three or four ships waiting to just blow you up. Um, and, and, and in that, uh, if you kind of look at the lower right corner of the screen, you can see a kind of dotted line. That's the maximum range of my ship. So. As you, you kind of can fire really far, but at the same time, everyone's much, much further away from you. So it's not only is it not only is this game fun, just uh, out of all the little features it has, the gameplay. I'm really digging the gameplay of this. Uh, you kind of have to line up your shots, really time it well, uh, coordinate. Um, you know, if you're trying to hit somebody that's going right into your firing range, kind of firing it a little bit before that. You know, kind of anticipating how to shoot and really getting used to the guns that you have that you, on your ship. So that's really important. And, but, uh, you know, kind of going off that, one thing I'm really excited to start doing is kind of building a squad. And, uh, you know, I, I think having a really nice team 
that can kind of coordinate who gets the aircraft carriers and who gets the battleships and the destroyers. And there's one I'm missing that I can't really remember off the top of my head. Uh, anyway, you know, kind of getting that really good team rhythm is is ever so important. And on top of that, you know, yeah, you can go and destroy all the battleships, but at the end of the at the end of the day, the most important thing is ensuring that you have. Uh, your objectives down because if you go against a patient team they're not going to give up they're not going to die easily and they're not going to give up the objectives easily so you know playing against bots is fun while i'm getting used to everything but one thing i'm really looking forward to doing now is starting to do some more pvp based stuff and uh kind of just exploring some of the ships they got and and uh just kind of keep on keeping on um again this game is called world of warships it's made by wargaming.net click that download button give it a shot give it a test drive and uh, otherwise it's Luxboo reporting out happy gaming gamers